There is a really cool store in Scottsdale that'll keep you from having a Pinterest fail. If you don't know what that is, then just look at my social media page. Uh, it's called Pinspiration. Brooke Rowe is the owner, and she is here with some holiday inspiration, some DIY ideas that you can do at home. That's right, yes. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. I know I'm gearing up. And it's always nice to bring you know, a hostess gift if you're going to someone's house or think about um, you know, unique ways to display your appetizers. Yeah, so yeah. tell us a little bit about Pinspiration because this is what makes um, the store so awesome. Basically, when you go in, you have tutorials um, that take you step by step uh, through each craft. You do. So all the supplies are ready for you. It's basically kind of like going to a restaurant. You right. order what you want to make and we bring you everything on a tray. You don't have to worry about you know making the mess. We'll clean it up for you and you get all the instructions and we help you through the process. So you end up having a really cool gift or item that you can take home with you. Absolutely. Which doesn't usually happen at home. <laughs> okay, so let's start right here. Yes. So you may or may not have some wine bottles laying around. You don't know what to do with them, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Not so much. <laughs> So this is just a cake plate and you can get these on Amazon um, and what I did was cut a little hole in the okay. center and if you set that on you're going to actually that's perfect push it down push it down yep you're gonna make sort of a tiered display and then you can put on little um, you know sweets or um, savory treats and then you can put the little flowers in the center oh, that's cool and isn't that cool and you can coordinate this and um, you know use it for different times of year different holidays there, look at, I'm, I'm back here. Through the jungle. I'm <laughs> okay, you and you could, also, you could also go ahead and um, spray paint this or paint this a certain color if you had a, a color theme. Yes, if you do that though, you want to put some wax or something down so it's food safe. Okay, um, gotcha. But yes, oh, absolutely. Good point, good yeah. point. Okay, so this is awesome. Yes, that's an alternative sort of guest book. Um, for Thanksgiving, you could take a photo of your guests and then have them write what they're thankful for and put it on. Um, I made it just with a an embroidery hoop. This oh, is a, wow. a large, actually, quilting hoop. But a lot of us have these little um, crochet yeah. hoops at home. You can use a hula hoop. Um, you know, lots of possibilities. And then just washi tape. We just wrapped it around. It looks fabulous. And yeah. I think this is such a unique idea. I would love to have this with my guests coming through the door. Absolutely. So let's take a picture. A, I think I need a picture of you, Holly. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this camera Radio. out. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. Set. Go. Go. Oh, we'll do it later. Oh, okay. Man. This one is, um, it's almost like a holiday terrarium, it right? Is. So that's one of the projects we have available right now. It's a seasonal project and we give you, you know, the embellishments. You get the leaves, you get the pumpkins, you get the sand. You can paint the base if you like. You can put ribbon around it and you could use that as a place card setting at each person's plate. I love that. And then also uh, the this is a cutting board. That is a cutting board. And you board. have the, what are they, burning tools up at the yeah, place? Yeah, if you haven't tried wood burning, okay. it's a really popular option right now. And it's super easy. Um, you don't have to have beautiful handwriting. We didn't, you know, sketch out the word thankful. Uh -huh. We actually branded it. Okay, do you have so, to have a background check to use the tools? Or? <laughs> no, but you no. sign a waiver. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, and then also there's something for the kids table yes, as well. Yes, yes. So um, we didn't want to leave the kids out. A fun way, uh, we don't have this in the studio, but a fun way that they can participate and make their own centerpiece is just by um, making a sand jar. Okay. And if you want to grab any yeah. of these, you can pour oh. a little in. I you used to love this when I was a kid. Right? I think, yeah, I just, it was a headache for my parents though. It is a little so messy. Cool. But putting in the bottles is a nice hint. It really helps. They can't spill quite as much. And then if they can't help in the kitchen, they feel like they actually helped with decoration. Exactly. Brooke, thank you so much. If you have not been to Pinspiration, you need to go. Uh, it, it's a great for date night. It's great for your friends. It's a uh, girls' night. Yes. So check it out. Thank you so much. Thanks for having and me. And happy holidays. Yeah.